Hello everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb. Uh, just wanted to talk about three quick tips for helping marketing of uh, your yoga studio. Okay, so just going to go uh, one by one. So the first one I want to talk about is creating content to give for free. Um, so uh, every day your yoga studio has you know X amount of classes, uh, you talk about different topics, and so what I would recommend strongly is to go ahead and at least you know once or more times a week film an entire class um, create pic you know take pictures of, of a certain positions create some content create quick you know one to to few minute videos of uh, specific postures or a yoga theme for the day or a quote by your favorite yogi or any anything that, that's related but just giving away free content is extremely valuable you're helping people and and you're creating more trust people like uh, to know more about you before they go to your yoga class so creating videos filming putting on YouTube writing about it creating blog posts super super important that's number one number two uh, Twitter search uh, what I would recommend as far as the second one is to actually go to Twitter and use a refined search to find people that are interested in maybe you know they have an itch for doing yoga or they just took their first beginner class or uh, they didn't like their yoga experience and actually contacting them and not trying to tell them oh you know here's a free class or here's a class actually responding to them and connecting with them so if they didn't like their first experience you know ask them why give them some tips maybe they were sore after and you can give them some kind of extra tip if they're gonna connect with you you know, some of the people will actually want to look at your profile, and, and you may you may get a uh, you know a new student. But first of all, you're helping people, and you know that that's a part of yoga as well. So uh, step two, Twitter. Now I'm just going to show you a quick thing as far as ref refining um, on Twitter. So uh, what I did is I actually went to Twitter right now, and I typed in. Uh, uh, one test term such as I want yoga or some kind of variation of that I want yoga and I use the location term to, to find the location of uh, the person who tweeted uh, that's nearest to you so for this example I typed in Los Angeles so near colon quotes Los Angeles and you can see it right here um, and so I kinda go down uh, one by one and, and what we want to try to do is dive into the conversation try to give some insight some help to people so if you go here um, 14 hours ago you can see someone was chatting with with uh, you know some other people is Zoki was chatting and she and she wrote hey, I want to try yoga I just feel intimidated since, since it'll be my first time perfect a, a, a response all you have to do is with your Twitter account click on reply uh, and, and give some tips, some insight, uh, some uh, you know, help them solve some kind of fear, and um, you know, help them, and it, it's it's you're gonna do good. So uh, dive into a conversation. Don't tell them about your class or your free or blah blah blah. Who you know, Zoki doesn't really care about it. But help her dive into yoga, and and you're doing the right thing. Okay, let's just go down a little bit more. Um, and see if we can find any anything else. Let's see this. Okay. Oh, and one more thing I wanted to talk about is when you search, it's great. It's good, better to filter by all right here, so you can see everybody's looking for this kind of information. Okay. So I'm gonna scroll down a little bit. Uh, here, here's a perfect example. Um, hey, what kind of yoga do you do? They ask some kind of friend. Uh, Cause I run, but I really want to start yoga. Give them some some advice. Give them some tips. Maybe you narrow it down for someone who likes to run or do maybe uh, uh, more intensive yoga. Give them some options. Talk about uh, you know maybe Ashtanga or or whatever it is. You know some some yoga you may recommend. Get into the conversation with them. Uh, and then obviously on and on and on and you know check your Twitter account uh, often and, and continue to do this and you'll find that you're helping people and you definitely will get uh, new students. Okay, and uh, the third thing I wanted to talk about is uh, about testimonials. So uh, when people research about your business, your, your yoga studio, your services, uh, more and more online people check about a, a, what other people say about you. So I strongly recommend going 
personally asking, not by phone, not by email, but asking your students a face-to-face, -face, you know, please, if you can write a, a fully honest review about what you think about your experience, I would appreciate it, and uh, uh, post them on your website, uh, ask people to review on Yelp, ask them to review on, on your Google listing, your Google Places listing, uh, anywhere you can, ask for those personally, uh, you're giving something amazing, uh, uh, your yoga classes and it's okay to ask for, for an honest review post it everywhere and it'll help with conversions and people just like reading that stuff and uh, uh, that's pretty much it so those are the three tips for marketing a, for, of your SEO of your uh, yoga studio SEO marketing conversions uh, Twitter a little bit all of that and that's it hope you enjoyed it and we'll create some more content around yoga studios thanks